we're going to talk about the word no. Uh, no, not any, not at all, to no extent. A negative answer or decision, as in voting, as said by the dictionary, Oxford language on Google. If you don't know what the meaning of the word no is today, you're about to learn something new. Welcome to your support group podcast, home of the number one podcast that supports you and what you like to do. As always, it's the bald guy and it's the dreadhead that's going to put these rumors to bed, Kenny and Q. <laughs> I try to do my whole Horatio thing when I intro the podcast, like, yeah, so it's, it's your support group podcast. <laughs> Yeah, I try to come up with a new tagline every time. Um, so I know we was talking about before we even got on how was your week um, type stuff, but I think this topic today uh, serves uh, sort of a purpose for my kind of week. It wasn't so much of me saying the actual word no, it was um, other people. And they not quite understanding what uh not volunteering or stepping into something quite mean um i think they was just looking forward to the opportunity of the main boss not being there and they kind of like stuck their foot out there and was like yeah i can do uh xyz Woo, i'm sweating north carolina weather's a trip last week we was freezing today you sweating um and you see i got on my cer- ceremonious hoodie but I also too got on a pair of shorts because it's North Carolina. But anyway, um, so they just kind of like volunteered and stuff. And, you know, now they're, they're kind of, well, not complaining, but looking back on things like, ah, maybe, you know, when Kenny called, maybe I shouldn't have worked those hours or, you know, something of that nature. So that's why I feel like today's topic is very important because some of them do watch the podcast. Shout out to them. Other than that, Q, you had anything crazy going on this week? Not really, not not other than the the normal crazy stuff that I got usually have going on. You know, I too like um in a role of management. Um, I'm the assistant to the the main guy, and I can see where saying no would come in handy because it's like you're new, and then you just feel like you want to just. Like, let me prove that I can do it. And then you just find yourself in the middle of something and you're like, whoa, maybe I shouldn't step in that so quickly. You know, you got to take yeah. your time and ease into things. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I wish I wish I would have understood the word no early on in my working life. When you think about, like, these companies, it 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 takes you you know, about 10 years to get where you're at or feel like, but it only takes them five minutes to tell you pack your stuff up and leave. So, you know, that's the case where I, I'm not saying like slack off, do a half-ass job or anything like that. No, I'm saying like be mindful of what you volunteer for, how you step forward into different things. Um, And I wish the older guy would have came to me and said that to me earlier, but, (laughs) you know, I spent 10 years at a company and they got every little bit of me and then I rebelled and started showing up work late. They didn't care because the work ethic was still there. But, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't get nowhere. I didn't get nowhere. They got somewhere. They got the best, probably the best worker that showed up late ever. But uh, <laughs> to to sum it all up, you know, if it's if it's a no and you need to go no and go you know um every opportunity every situation ain't gonna fit you mm-hmm. true that now true that. you know coming into personal life uh i have all daughters so <laughs> you know um i know for moms because i see q's face like uh-uh. No, <laughs> for moms it's a little bit more easy, but for for dads, for girl dads, mm-hmm. um, the word no 
has a different ramification. So we go into this whole safety. So is it safe? Is it who will be there? And then once you, if you can't answer those questions, then it's a no, you know, um, or you ask for a toy in Carson's case, you ask for a toy that I know that that's small enough for it to go down your throat. And I know how you like sticking all your toys in your mouth. And it's a no. As soon as I see it, no. But um, anything that I feel like, like dance and stuff like that, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to say, let me see what I can do. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just tell them straight up, no. You know, what about you, Q? Um, you know, I think it's kind of that way with me and sons too, but, um, at some point I had to start saying the word no, because my, um, youngest son, like the oldest one, he, he knew better because I raised them and he, they even say this, like, you are a lot nicer to these younger kids than you were to us. Like you were more. <laughs> Same way with my parents. <laughs> Like the youngest son, he would just ask for stuff. And you know, the money is different now than it was when I had the first two. So it's like, okay, right. well, I got to go and get it. But then he's still a growing boy. So you go spend $150 on a pair of shoes. And one month later, he can't fit them anymore. <laughs> so I still have like a closet with shoes. I mean, nice shoes that he might have wore like two or three times. And you know, it's a, a market yes. for uh, reselling shoes, um, for real. That, like, but, yeah, you're going to have to hit me up with that because these yeah, shoes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to send you a link to GOAT because that's what I told my nephew with his forever growing foot. Um, yeah, he went from like, me and him used to wear, could wear the same size shoe. Now he wear like a size 15, but then again, he like 6'6". Six, six. Um, so. <laughs> I'm about to say that. Yeah, he like 6'6 six, six now. But, um. Yeah, I, mm, I, you know, my parents was kind of the same way. Like, I, I got a whole bunch of no's. Like, everything was no. It was no so much that I, I was kind of like the coat, the coach for uh, what's the team that got beat by the Raiders badly? Um, I think it was the Chargers got destroyed by the Raiders, and the coach just walked in there and just threw the keys on the table. And was like, yeah, I know, I know, I, I gotta go. <laughs> That's that's the way it was. Like I walked in the room and, and say the answer to the question. I'm like, yeah. So um, they got Drop Z going, and I want to take Drop Z. No, right? Good. <laughs> Just walk out. Hey, you know they got these uh, new shoes that I really like. You know they 120. Oh no, 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 right? Yeah, and just walk on out the yeah. room. You know, I never really gave my parents the opportunity to say it, but I had heard no so much that you know it became constant inside my head that they're going to just say no anyway. And and, that, and that's, I, I think that's kind of why I don't automatically say no to my kids because I don't want it to, because inside my mind, I was always told no about everything, you know, and then my mm -hmm. brother and sister came along and they got told yes about everything. Oh, Kenny, yeah. you got asthma. You too frail. You can't play football. Hey, Jr. The doctor had to put you back in in order for you to come out. Right. <laughs> but you can go play football, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was things like that. Um, I think that makes me kind of like, ah, let me see what I can do. You know? Yeah. And, you know, my, my ex-wife and Tamika, they always like, hell no. <laughs> hell no. No. And oh, yeah. no why. Nah, right. <laughs> hell to the nah. <laughs> yeah, and certain things that they already know not to ask. Like, don't ask me, could you spend a night by anybody's house? Um, I guess I would just really have to know the people, like, know them, know them before I would be like, okay, yeah, you can go over there. Because this is, this is how I see it. If something happens to you while you're in the presence of other people what explanation are they going to give me to satisfy me to tell me what happened to you it's not going to be sufficient right. <laughs> so I'm just going I just like to say I want to keep you where I have my eyeballs on you so I know 
that I'm going to do the job necessary to keep you safe. And that's pretty much where I stand with that. Because there were right. some instances where I let the oldest two go spend the night by people's house and then stuff happened. Like, how did this happen? Why is his finger almost falling off? Like, why is her hand burnt up? You know, and, and stuff like that. People that you know, and it's like, you weren't watching these kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> you weren't <What>? watching them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! This this is this sounds terrible. <laughs> what, yeah, exactly. what happened so to your kids, trauma. Q? <laughs> trauma, trauma that makes these other two can't spend a night by nobody house. <laughs> like soon as they ask, can I spend a night? All that stuff starts flashing back in your mind. I would I would be like, hell no, nah, too. I'd be like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. But, but I mean, I try to tell them, you know, like you said, let's see, like, let's see what the budget, because I show them like, this is what the money looks like right now. If we could afford to do it, we can do it. But if not, do you want to be homeless or do you want to go get that thing? Because we could be homeless right. if you want the thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know That's true. I mean? <laughs> That's true. You just ain't going to have no way to plug it in or play <laughs> right. it. But um, good luck with that one. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Cause I, you know, I, I just want, you know, kids to be kids and sometimes they overstep their boundaries on asking for things and certain things you're not supposed to be into, you know, too early on. Um, and so I, that's, that's when the no factor really comes in. Like, uh, nah, that's not for you. Don't do that. Don't mm-hmm. do that, <laughs> you know, um, and and you know, like like she was saying, you know, hey, I I need to meet the people, I need to meet the parents, I need to look them in the eye, you know, um, the the hardest thing was for me was when my middle daughter went down to uh, Myrtle Beach because she waited to the twenty fifth hour to tell us that the dance competition was going to be in Myrtle beach. And this is how much was going to be needed for her to get into the competition and all this other stuff. So she waited to the 25th hour, which I wanted to literally knock her block off. But, you know, I got that whole dad daughter thing. Like, ah, if I hit you, then I don't feel right because I don't even know. So the small, Oh, the little one, she get popped on the bottom. Don't get it twisted. I don't spare no rods around here. She get that butt popped, you know, but as they get older, I try not to, because yeah. I don't want the, them to have that mental concept of putting hands on, men putting hands on them and stuff. No, I, I just got weird things about that. But, um, yeah, she waited to the 25th hour, and then um, she ended up, you know, having to find a ride with one of her dance partners, you know, Um and I had like a whole like month long conversation with the girl's parents, you know, and got to meet the mom and the dad even went over to their house. I know where you live. <laughs> I know what cars you drive. <laughs> Still remember it to the day you drive a XC90 Volvo. But um, yeah, even though the color black. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to do that in order to feel at ease with that. And then I needed to be in constant communication with her. Like, you know, hey, because down at Myrtle Beach, um, little do everybody know us, a lot of females that come up missing down there. So oh, that yeah. was that was an itchy sore subject for me because, hey, you know, go missing on dad's time. That's different because I know I will hunt. Go missing on somebody else's time that's not dad. I don't know. You know, I'm kind of like you. Like, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know what you're going to do. And you can't give me no excuse that's going to fix my nerves. Look, my back start itching as soon as I think about it right now. That's my nerves. You know, so, I mean, you know, when it comes to the kids, certain things you do have to say no to. And certain things you just got to think about. You know, you got to work on it. Now, the adult aspect (laughs) <laughs> That's right. Them friends that don't know how to say no. Or those people that just 
want to be everything for everybody, but then get burnt out and then be mad at everybody because they everything for everybody because they just don't know how to say no. Um, sweetheart, sir, you have to say no sometimes. Say, for example, if your best friend wants you to bake a cake and you've done all this, that, and the third, and you've been doing all this stuff during the week, um, been taking care of your family, you're tired. But nope, Gina wants that cake. That's my best friend. I got to come through for her. And then you end up burning down your house. Now you mad at Gina because you burned down your house. Well, you should have said no. And that's just very simple. You know, you should have said no because you was tired. You knew you was going to fall asleep and you burned down your house because you were trying to bake a cake. In. Prime example of that. Could have said no. You know, say no without explaining yourself. No is a full mm. sentence. No. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Period. Mm. Move on. And I mean, you, you don't next. have to. I mean, you don't have to draw it out. You don't have, you know, you you don't owe nobody no excuses, no nothing. Like you said, no is a long sentence. <laughs> and once you say no, look out for the pause because that's the people that, uh, that you probably don't want to have around for a long time because they they don't they don't have no understanding. They don't, yeah. you know. When somebody tells me no, I say, okay, yeah, that's all I need to hear. I'm Thank right you. Like I always say, an honest no is better than a bullshit yes. If you can't do it, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm just gonna go look for another option, a, another way to get what I need done done. And that's all most people really want. You say no, then I'm going to go over here and get it done. It's okay to say right. no. You don't even have to tell me why your no is no. Your no is your no. Because I know I'm not explaining myself unless I feel the person deserves an explanation. Not everybody gets an explanation. Some people just get told no. I had I said no to a girl one time and she was waiting for me to elaborate. And I just looked at her. <laughs> and she was like, but why? I said, because I don't want to. And then walked away. Like, I love you, but you don't need to know why. So, um, if you need for me to elaborate on a no, this is how it goes. No. <laughs> Period. Or I might hit you with the Carson and say, no, why? No. <laughs> no, why? No, why? Yeah. Because <laughs> right, that, that Noah means, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. Right. Oh no 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 no, yeah that that's a that's a violation of um, self intellectual properties or some other type of BS that I got inside my mind that you violate. Right. So then uh, no, no. Especially you know. in like uh, I saw this a lot earlier on. Uh, people know that I write, and so they will hit me up. Can you write blah blah blah? Okay, I charge X Y and Z for that. And then they don't respond. It was like, I'm not, I'm not working for reading. Do you think words just magically appear in my head? No, I have to think about how to structure this stuff. It takes right. time to write things out. So you're gonna yeah. pay me for my my efforts. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, it's always people, especially our people. I always want you to do something for free, you know, right. and in those cases or a discount. Come on, bro. Put me over the discount. I'll be the first one in line buying Jordan's full price. You don't ask Foot Locker right. for a discount, do you? No, you don't. Right. Okay. So do me the right way and don't ask me for a discount. You know, it, leave it up to me to give you a blessing. Mm -hmm. Better yet, you know, because a lot of times too, like, I'll do stuff and be like, nah, man, you ain't got to worry about it. But yeah. if you say, I know you charge an arm and a leg, man, but but come on, man, hook me up, then I'm going to charge you an arm and a leg. You know why? Because you didn't leave it up to me to bless you. Right. Or I might just say no. Nah, man, I can't do it. I, I'm, I got something else going on at that time. I don't. But because I feel like that, you are looking for a way to keep money in your pocket and take money from out of mine. No, 
I'm not. I'm why why are we even gonna waste our time? You know, and then in the back of my mind, I'm gonna do a half ass job. Because I'm be honest, I'm gonna do a half ass job for a half ass pay. Instead, leave it up to somebody to, you know what I'm saying, kindly bless you with something. You know, yeah. like, hey, you know, um, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Let me see what that that's about. Let me check out what your your project about. Or let me check out what this is about. Oh, okay. That's all you need, man. Don't worry about it, man. I'll come through. I'll do that. Right. Oh, man. What do what I owe you? Man, you good. You good. Don't do me like that. We good. Yeah. Yep. Or it could be a situation like if you're an actor and I'm a writer and then we're both going to try to make a project work, then boom. You yeah, that's it. just... Go. If I'm an actor, you're a writer. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and do this project. Let's go ahead and get this... Uh, these credits, and then we both making coins later on down the road. Right. And right. we're helping each other out. But I see people will do stuff like they want to use your stuff. They want to slap their name all over it, leave you completely out of the picture, and then fly away with your thing. It's like, how oh, yeah. do what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, like, I've, I've even seen where and, you know, I, I'm not a petty person. I don't care, you know. Um, and and tag us in it. That that would be cool. But I've seen where people are actually like using like the same exact topic word for word as an episode that we have. And I'm like, okay, well, it's a short, it's a real or whatever like that. Like, go ahead and use it. You know, I've I've opened it up so you can even mm-hmm. borrow it now. It's borrowing, right. you know what I'm saying? But make sure you tag us in it. That's all. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't even be sweating it like that no more. I was sweating it like that in the beginning because I'm like, hey, you know, this is my stuff. <laughs> I'll bust my butt for No, you know what? You know, um, eventually it, it'll get to a level where people will start sharing and stuff like that. And all this weird stuff that's been happening lately will stop happening. But, um <laughs> Where, where I'm getting demonetized for saying something old months ago, and now all right. of a sudden, now the video, like two hours later, getting demonetized. But I'm not even sweating that. Um, I just found it weird. But anyway, you know, just tag us in it. It's all good. I mean, if if, if your feelings hurt, that's good. And, you know, emotions are the best way to get stuff circulating. Um. But back on the topic of no, I mean, it's a lot of people, like I said in the beginning, that don't know the meaning or definition of the word no. And it's sad, and you watch them bust tail, do a whole bunch of stuff for other people with no re- with little or no reward, and all you had to do is think for a couple of seconds and say, you know what, this person is not right. Or this person doesn't treat others fair. So I'm going to go ahead and say no to this. Like tonight, like today, Q might be in Zumba class. Somebody might be like, "Um, can you work with me on my extra dance moves? And Q, thinking inside her mind, thought about how many times the child didn't show up to Zumba class and might be like, "Um, no, sweetheart, I got to be somewhere. (laughs) <laughs> she should show up to class. Class <laughs> more often. <laughs> yeah, get come to class more often. Moves. Get all the moves, you know. So, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I know in my household, especially my wife. My wife is queen, though. Like you can't, you can't even like finish the whole entire sentence without her saying no. And then she'll come back to me. I'm um, thinking about it. <laughs> But right now, the answer still no. <laughs> right. What was you saying earlier that I had already said no? <laughs> then you'd be like, "Blaza, blaza." Okay, no, it was really no. Yeah. No, it's a really no. It's a it's a confirmation no. You know, you get you get the early warning no, like, oh no, and then you get the confirmation no later on, like, no, no, like no, no, no. So. Yeah, I mean, you can also be like that, too. You can give the early warning, though, like, nah, and then come back later. What was you talking about? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can I can do that. I mean, a no can change to a yes. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it's frowned upon when a yes turns into a no. So it's yeah. best to just say no. <laughs> hey, no. Well, what is the saying? It's better to uh, under promise and over deliver than to do it the other way. So if, if I know you have an event and I say, I just tell you no, but then if things work out and I pop up, boom, here I am. And I can do the thing that you asked me to do. But if you already found somebody else, that's cool too. That's but cool. I'm just going to come and drink your drinks that. and eat your food. But um, yeah. yeah come on out with the food i'm just going i'm just here to eat your food drink your drinks but um yeah definitely that is the way you know um because i've i've told some people know that i wasn't going to come to some things and then just pop up and it's like the greatest thing to them in the world and so you know i'm like Hmm, maybe that adds a little bit of intrigue and background into myself, you know. So, you know, now I kind of use that sometimes when I want to pop up on somebody, like, nah, man, I can't make it today. And then right. like, hey man, plans change. I'm here. What's up, Kenny? Right. Man? What's up? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, sometimes you gotta do that, you know, surprise people. Surprise, I'm here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you're wondering what's going on right now, the sun is going in and out, in and out. So that's why I'm going from blue to light, blue to light. You know, look, I don't even see our sun. I live in the sunshine state. I don't even know where it's. Well, at. you should have <laughs> you should have took this one here because like my cheeks are sweating. When my cheeks are sweating, not not the other cheeks, not paws, not the other cheeks, people, but um the facial cheeks, the the, the these cheeks, you know, yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, learn that word and be happy with saying it. For real. That's the thing. Be happy with saying it. Because sometimes you just don't feel guilty. And and, and females. Females especially. Because I know some dudes can be hyper-aggressive. Say the word no. And then... If he doesn't understand the word no, then use your mace. Fuck it. <laughs> mace him. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> no, don't mace him. But yeah, just stand firm on your word no. You know, you don't, you, you're not interested. No, you know. And and they might call you cold B or whatever like that, but ain't no need for entertaining the whole entire conversation because we, as men, we work ourselves up to say certain things and stuff like that. Some dudes a little bit more confident and be running G, but you know, guys like me, we have to work ourselves up, boost that stamina, that male testosterone, stand up straight, get our neck right, tuck our chin in, and you know, approach. You know, even when I asked my wife out on the first date. You know, it took, well, we was about an hour into the phone conversation. And then I finally worked up the guts. So, I mean, you know, so it, that's what I'm saying. Just tell that dude straight up. No, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm not interested. And he'll he'll understand if he's one of me. If he's the other kind, be like, well, what you doing, man? And you ain't going to act like all that. You're not acting like all that. You just didn't want to entertain the conversation because it wasn't nothing there. You wasn't interested. So, no. There are some weird guys out there. That's why I do suggest if you do go out, try to go out with a group of females, even if it's just one other woman. Because I've been in situations where guys would get downright belligerent. It's like, bruh, um, (laughs) hold up. But you don't have no friends? You gonna be my husband friend too? You gonna yeah. be his friend? Let's yeah. let me call him and see if he gonna be your friend. Because the, I here you go. Get... Look, he he go with the hammer, Poppy. <laughs> let me tell you something, Poppy. <laughs> this is my wife. This is my wife. I'm gonna kill you, Chico. <laughs> right. It's like yeah. you didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know. <laughs> You didn't so know. Oh, <laughs> 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 
but 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 all I was trying to be is her friend. Dad, that they boca. Right. Listen. <laughs> she told you once. Right. <laughs> Baby. Oh man. But yeah. No. All right. So. Yeah. No. <laughs> Definitely. Full statement. Full statement. Yeah. No. 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 You don't want to be body parts in Tijuana. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we smoke them on Tuesday. He score. <laughs> Straight out, he scores. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. If no one told you, no time this week, that they love you, we do. Don't forget to check out our website, www.ysgpodcast.com, where we got blogs, more episodes. And a whole lot of us. And we even got the shirts and stuff. Just a link there, the store. Just click it up at the top. You can get the shirt stuff from straight from there. You ain't even got to get it from YouTube. You can get it from there too. Um, also, too, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what you waiting for? What you waiting for? Subscribe. And if you listen on Spotify, Apple, or anything like that, follow as well. And if you're wondering, if you're watching this episode, what happened to my face, um, my hand, like I said in the beginning of the episode, my hand swole up. I had a lot of typing. I was shaping up my face and it slipped. <laughs> it just, <laughs> I was like, bruh, come on. So yeah, that's how I ended up looking like uh, a college nerd or something like that with my little my little one little chin piece took me back <laughs> to about 10 years ago when I, when I really had the struggle growth and I was like, nah, let me cut that off. I looked like I had mutton chops, like it would grow like right here and just stop. So I shaved everything off and then it started growing and now I'm back to this. So yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of the episode. See you next week. Peace. Peace.